17 years after the 9-11 terror attacks, five suspects, including the mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, have not faced trial yet. Setbacks include questions over the CIA's interrogation methods, its criticism echoed by some Democrats. Waterboarding is torture. It's contrary to America's traditions. It's contrary to our ideals. That's not how we operate. We don't need it in order to prosecute the war on terrorism. The CIA's actions a decade ago are a stain on our value and on our history. The previous interrogation techniques were immoral. But our next guest says justice still has not been served. Yeah, what do they know? This guy knows. He was there, he stared him in the eye and interrogated five of them. Dr. Jim Mitchell helped develop the CIA's enhanced interrogation program and personally interrogated Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. He's the author of Enhanced Interrogation. We've spoken to him before. On this day, when people try to make sense of the attacks, you know a lot of the people that did these attacks, that mastermind behind it and try to keep the killing going. What is your message? to America today. That they shouldn't be distracted by efforts by their attorneys to uh, force the blame for these delays off on other things. I mean, we know that the techniques that were used by me and Dr. Jessen and other CIA interrogators weren't torture because they were looked into for two years in front of a career prosecutor under the hostile to the interrogation program Obama Justice Department. Uh, and there was no case to be made. So the conclusion is pretty obvious. They can try to rewrite history, but the delay really falls directly, directly on Eric Holder and Barack Obama. Because what uh, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed did was he confessed to these crimes in open court. And then Barack Obama and Eric Holder, because they wanted to take narcissistic credit for prosecuting them, canceled those confessions, set aside those confessions and dropped all charges against them to try to try them in New York City. Then they had to start the military commissions all over and uh, KSM pled not guilty. And I know that guy. And what he decided he was going to do was continue his jihad in the court. Because if he's wasting millions of dollars on legal uh, maneuvering, then that's millions of dollars that don't go to help the wounded vets or don't go to uh, securing our borders or don't go to helping the families of the victims of the people that he murdered. So he sees that as him continuing his jihad. And Do he's going to drag it on as long as possible. Dr. Mitchell, we had Pete Hegseth on who fought for this country after 9-11, and he said that al-Qaeda still wants to strike us. When we look at these images, you've talked to these guys. They haven't even faced trial yet, which is just absurd in my opinion. How do we know that we're safe? Are you worried about the future of this country? Well, I think they still would like to do some kind of a catastrophic attack. I think the way that it's metastasized now, though, is they're going to have to focus more on lone wolf attacks until we become so complacent that they're able to actually make another catastrophic attack. But fortunately, every day, the men and women of the FBI and the local sheriff's departments and the law enforcement efforts inside the United States are mm -hmm. doing what they can do to prevent these attacks. When you uh, find out that Zawahiri is trying to mobilize al-Qaeda again to attack us and list us as his number one enemy, my feeling is the evil pediatrician who was in on Anwar Sadat's assassination and was once jailed in Egypt and really mentored bin Laden, why the hell is he alive still? Why are we not targeting this guy? We are targeting him, but people are hiding him. You know, there are, there are people who claim to be our friends who, are prob who probably know where he is and are probably hiding him. But in, and, and we need to find him and kill him. But back to the people in Guantanamo Bay, they should be subjected to a military commission, found guilty, and summarily executed. We should not be bending over backwards to let them file thousands of motions yep. because justice delayed cheats the victims and the families of uh, the people who were killed in those attacks from true justice. And people should understand they don't deserve compassion. They are evil. You stared them in the eye. You got, got to know them uh, psychologically. And there's nothing to re... They're not rehabable. They need to be killed. They're not... Yes, they need to be voted off the island permanently. Uh, they're not going to change. Uh, Zawahiri uh, is not going to change his... Uh, 
is stripes. They're not going to live with us in peace because their goal is to destroy us so that they can take over the world. Wow. They're not. Uh, thanks so it's much, Dr. Mitchell. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Mitchell.